Fox Toledo News at 10 starts right now. Cops with their guns drawn spent six hours in a Point Place neighborhood trying to coax a man out of his house. Neighbors say he had a gun inside there with him. Barrett Andrews is on the scene at the safety building to tell us how this one ended. So far, Toledo police haven't told us anything about what happened today, but we did talk to the man's next door neighbor. She says she would never expect anything like this from him. He's a good guy. I mean, he's just in, in a different state right now, and he just, he's obviously not happy. Sierra Warica was cooped up in her house here for the entire six hours of the standoff as the SWAT team stood outside using her home for cover as a negotiator tried to convince the man he should come out. I was pretty scared. I mean, I'm eight months pregnant almost, so I just kind of stayed in the house. Firefighters stood by as cops talked to the guy on the phone. Pretty much the entire area around 290th and Lehman Streets and the point was shut down. Other people living on the streets came out to see officers with shotguns drawn. Not what they expected on a Sunday afternoon. Some of the witnesses say he had a gun and was threatening to kill himself and wouldn't come out. But eventually he did. Cops met him at the back door around 530, safe and apparently uninjured. But he was taken away by a life squad. It appeared as though, as though he was dealing with some sort of medical medical issue. Sierra says there are no hard feelings and she just hopes the best for him. I'm not mad. I just, you know, it's what it, it is what it is. I can't, you know, I can't really judge him for it. People do crazy things all the time. So far, this guy's name has not been released, and Toledo police have not said what, if any, charges they expect to file against him. We're on the scene of the safety building downtown, Barrett Andrews, Fox Toledo News.